Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale. I am Adaraiju, and I will be your guru for this playthrough. Why? Because you need one. This is a neat little indie flash game that was created by, um, some guy. Anyways, this is, uh, it's a free online game, links in the description below, and, uh, let's give it a shot, shall we? Alrighty then. Arcade mode, that's basically story mode. Normal. Godzilla. Gee, I wonder which one I should use. In the year 2XXX, the Earth faced yet another terrible threat from space. The people of Planet X made a second declaration of war against the Earth. Determined to succeed, Planet X's army of monsters is now vastly greater than before. Because there was only like one or two of them last time. Planet X commander says, Surrender now, Earthlings, and become a colony of Planet X peacefully. Otherwise, we will take over your planet by force, and I will be forced to make a very strange voice. But a glimmer of hope remained for Earth. A monster that was sealed away in an icy prison in Antarctica by Earth's defense forces broke free. Sensing the abnormalities of the surrounding monsters, it set out to stop the forces of Planet X. The Earth's fate now lies in the hands of Godzilla. And the player, and we are doomed. Antarctica, alright. Roar. Roar recharges he uh, energy, not health. Because if the roar recharged health, it'd be a bit broken. Whoa! Okay, Neon Punkupine on the loose, okay. Ow! Neon Punkupine with giant lasers on the Ow! Yeah, screw you, buddy. Mine's better. Okay, so basically, this is Crystal Lock, giant uh, alien thing that was created from the same ow, space crystals that spawn space gods in. And he is not really that tough. I mean, he's fast, but he's sort of a got a glass jaw. Okay, I'm losing to him. Not no, no more of a though. Because he doesn't really have much, uh, I guess in Pokemon it'd be special defense. Ow. Okay. Roast me, will ya? And fire! See, Crystal Lock's fortunately not that tough. Ow. Yeah, screw you too, buddy. That wasn't so hard. I do love the victory music in this game. In fact, I like all the music in this game. It's got some really neat MIDI files that a whole bunch of people were working on for a while. And by a whole bunch of people, I mean I don't know exactly how many. Oh god, it's huge! Anyways, this is not Spinosaurus. This is... Knock it off! This is Titanosaurus. Basically, he is... Well, he's sort of a Spinosaurus. An underwater giant dinosaur that has sort of a huge fan on his tail, and he can use it to push you away the hell back so you can't use any decent attacks on them, and the fan does damage. Took me a while to figure that out. Before then, I thought that he was pretty much useless. But he's not really that tough, and I can take out uh, pretty easy. Especially when he just stands there like a jumping dippy doodle. See, he ain't so tough. Come on, come on, come on. Come at me, bro, I dare you. One or two more of these blasts up to him in. And one. And. Well, there went that idea. On the other hand, you sort of need a whole bunch of power to use the long range atomic ray, as you can see. Unfortunately, he's only so so in close combat anyway, so. He's not a threat. Victory roll! Alright, Tokyo. Who's in Tokyo? Besides us. And about eight million people. Not one. Ooh, Morga! He is that thing. He's this big hunchback. Oh crap. Wait, the hunchback in Tokyo just what I need. Anyways, he's this giant alien monster that was created from a combination of alien genetic coding and Godzilla genetic cells. Genetic, genetic, genetic. Basically, he's got some really good range and. Uh, He's got that thing, which is a bit overpowered, but he's not that insane. Okay, okay, maybe he's... Okay, 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 I have a verbal tick. Okay, okay. Knock it off! Eat. Pawn. You. Jerk. Ow. And... Okay, ouch. I meant him, not me. Oh, goody. That was just enough to take him down. Plant X Commandant says, You're stronger and more clever than we anticipated. To think we could discover our base on Earth? Put your Jenny out here. Our base guardian will stop you here and now. Oh crap, then why am I playing this game? Oh no, he's gonna stop me. <laughs> Anyways, 
at World Children's Land, an amusement park, well, actually it's an alien to conquest based design and amusement park, we come across Gigan, who, ow, has those things he can fly through. Yeah, Gigan appeared in 1972, Godzilla vs. Gigan, he's basically a giant... that. Basically a giant alien chicken space cyborg from hell. He's not that... he's not that powerful, he's... we can take him on, no problem. But, uh... This song, act, incidentally, isn't actually from any movies, it's from the video game. I forget what, I forget what the name it is, I'll have to look it up. So, he's not so tough. We can take him. I mean, he can take us, apparently. But not as so much as we can take him. We'll take him out to dinner. We'll take him to a nice dinner at Friendly's. How do you like that, you big guy? You like dinner at Friendly's? Avoid ordering the chicken tenders. Might be a relative. Especially since... Okay, knock it off! Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, he's got that buzzsaw thing. And that's pretty dangerous. But not as dangerous as us. That wasn't so bad. Next! So you managed to defeat our base guardian. No matter, we are now taking you to Planet X to prevent any further interference on Earth. There you will face our trump card. After your inevitable defeat of our monster, we will send it to Earth to finish our conquest. Oh crap, we're going up against Donald Trump. On another planet. Just what we needed. Even worse! This is Kaiser Ghidorah, and he is... Yeah, he's an endgame monster for a reason. This guy is tough. He's from... Ouch! Well, yeah, knock it off. He's the... He's the last monster from Godzilla Final Wars, meaning he's the last monster Godzilla ever faced. He is dangerous. Fortunately, he doesn't have any, uh... What the, what the heck did he do in that movie? He doesn't have any gravity beams that can pick you up from a distance, and he can't drain your health, because that would make him just utterly and completely indestructible. But, fortunately... Ow! Shut up! I'm trying to talk here! Can't you hear my fake New York accent? Okay. That wasn't so bad. Not nearly as bad as I expected, anyway. Anyway, next! In the end, the people of planet Earth could not defeat the monster. They had no choice but to return to Earth and admit defeat. The Earth and the entire galaxy were safe once again, all thanks to Godzilla. Yay? Well, anyways, that was our playthrough of Godzilla 1964, and we unlocked something new, Mogura 1957. And, uh... Yeah, so we're going to be picking this up next time with Angurus, and uh, hope to see you then. Uh, comment, subscribe, and pretty much do anything you can would be greatly appreciated. That's all. Thank you very much, and have a good day.